Hi, my name is Lynn and I'm a London-based makeup artist originally from Latvia. I would describe my style as vibrant, stimulating and high fashion. Hi, my name is Rowie Singh and I'm a Sydney-based makeup artist and I would describe my style as creative, cultural and conceptual. Hi, my name is Kayla McDonnie. I'm an editorial and avant-garde artist. I would describe my style as limitless, dynamic and colorful. Okay, I just received an email in my inbox. I'm just gonna check it. And it says, you have two hours to create a look on yourself inspired by the following image. Cute, Ooh, we're going to sunset. sunset. I'm excited for this one. All right, it says here, you will photograph your look in your own personal editorial photo shoot. Okay guys, so we only have two hours, so better start going. I'll start with skincare. And the first thing I'm gonna use is this Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. It's a nice way to moisturize your skin before the makeup or even, you know, you could use it in the evening too. But I just love Hyaluronic Acid. I think everyone should be using it. Okay, so I'm just putting a couple of drops on my face and massaging it in. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Fix Plus Magical Radiance, incredibly refreshing, and I actually use it as a primer because it just helps melt my foundation into my skin that much um, more. It's got vitamin C, it's got everything I need to just rejuvenate my skin. Now I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to do my highlight and my foundation at the same time. I wanna add my own Indian touch to this look. So I wanna add Indian embellishments. So when I first saw the image, I initially thought of like the Indian clothes that we wear to weddings because the ultimate choice for a sari is bright and colorful. So I was inspired by this camouflage print on a, on a, on a shoe. And glitter, of course, represents the shine on the water because the, on the picture we see the sun and, and the sea and everything. So this is really like so conceptual, it's crazy. So my inspiration for this look was of course the colors. This is the first thing you think about when you look at a sunset. The first thing I thought is just the blending shades and how each color just kind of meshes into each other so nicely. Before we do mascara, obviously, we will curl the lashes. If you're not curling your lashes yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life because it's such a big difference honestly like see it's crazy like I look like I have fake lashes on so I'm gonna go in to my eyes pretty much straight away and I want to set down a nice white base before I go in with the shadows because that's gonna really help them pop and so my favorite product and tool to do that is this little guy from P Louise Academy it's basically concealer but stark white I'm actually going to start off with my sugar pill. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows. I'm just going to go in with a very light blending brush. So now we can jump in uh, to the actual face spinning. And for that today I'll use um, this Wycan pencil. I'll do the shapes first and then I'll fill them with color and then I'll fill them with glitter. Okay, and I'm going to draw a little line. As you can see, I'm kind of following the curvature of my eye here. The key to getting a really nice shape is knowing that you will make a mistake and you can clean it up. There's always one eye I feel that's just a little bit more difficult than the other and I feel like for me, it's my left eye that throws the tantrum. What doesn't help is the fact that my face isn't completely symmetrical. So when you're trying to get a shape the same on both eyes, you have to really use your perspective and be like, okay, this eye lifts a bit more, so maybe I need to go a little bit higher on this side. So I always love to put lighter colors closer to the tear duct area or the inner part of the eye, just because I feel like that gives just a little bit more of an uplifted look. Okay, this is my color palette. I think I'll do like a gradient and then add the yellow and then go into the blue and, and dark blue. I think it's a vibe. This is um, a Clarice-like palette. It's called Real Fantasy. And I know I wanna use this pink, this purple, and this blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite colors. This is a beautiful pink color, super pigmented. So I'm actually gonna go through with a little bit of a blush brush. I'm trying to poke yourself in the eyeball, like I just did. I'm just gonna fan that out. Just filling in the main shape and then I'll go over the edges. And as long as it, it's a good background for my glitter, I'm happy. So when you're going to pick out a blush color, I mean, of course, makeup has no rules and you can wear whatever blush color your heart desires. But just as a rule of thumb, I like to stay away from your skin's undertones. 
So if you have a warmer undertone, I would probably stay away from, of course, your very warm blushes because it's gonna make you look even more flush. This is the Alyssa Edwards palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This yellow right here is next level intense. I feel like finding a really good yellow in your palettes is quite difficult, especially on my skin tone. I am very aware that I've colored outside the line, so I want to take a fine brush and just conceal up. Okay. And I'm just going to conceal around the shape. So let's just have a look at the difference between a cleaned up liner and one that's quite messy. You can see that the shape is a lot more formed. And of course with the sunset, I mean of course you see a little bit of gleaming, it's always shining. So after we get this nice gleam on the cheek, I'm actually going to take my second highlighter, which I thought would go great with this look, which is the Fenty the Trophy Wife, this lovely gal right here. I'm going to be going right over top of that same highlight. Okay, we're getting there. We're actually halfway through, um, which is stressing me out a little bit. So I've decided to go for a really bold blue eyeliner and to go with that shape because it kind of reminds me of old Bollywood movies from like the 90s where the eyeliner was super, super intense. I use eyeshadow on my lips a lot. I think for me, sometimes I just want that exact same color that's on my lids, on my lips, and that's really hard to find. So a lot of times I'll just use a little bit of lipstick as a base and then I'll go in with a little bit of eyeshadow and just dab it over top. Okay, so we don't have much time left so I need to start with the glitters and I'll use these guys and the tool I'll be using with the glitters is this silicone applicator from NYX and it's really easy to grab the glitters with this applicator you can see that already I'm just applying them on top come here you want to do some makeup you say hello no you don't want to say hello person. Whoa! Who is she? I've got all these little Swarovski jewels. This is what takes my look from 100 to 1000. <laughs> what I want to do with these jewels is kind of create little sun rays coming from my eyes and that's going to mimic the sun aspect of the prompt. I actually have a lot of time left for my hair. So I just want to show you guys my makeshift head crown. Beautiful. So this guy was actually a mirror and I popped the mirror out. And what's going to happen is I'm going to place a nice tight bun on the back of my head. And this is going to go right over top of that bun. I pictured this as being the sun setting over my head and then the colors being the actual sunset. Okay, I think this is good with the sun. It's nice and Reflective, nice and yellow, pretty. I might just add a little bit of contour and just add a little bit of shape and dimension to my cheeks. I'm struggling with dryness right here, so it's very patchy. We're working with what we got right now. I like it, it's really cute. I have a lot of glitter in my mouth though. So now that I have 10 minutes left, I'm actually super excited that I had a little bit of spare time. I'm going to incorporate some paint onto my hands. So it literally comes in a powder form like this, and then you're gonna mix it with your mixing solution from Graftobian. So now that you have that mixing liquid in there, I'm gonna show you guys because this stuff is super cool. It's almost like, literally like a metal. Okay, let's do the brow now. So I'm just going to, just going to do like this weird, weird straight brow. So just with a pencil. No, it's cool, it's like really raw. Look at that. Crazy. So literally all I'm gonna do, take my hands, I'm gonna drag that gold down. So these are my very beautiful, classy, elegant bindies that I like to use. I'm gonna go in with the gold. That's just gonna go straight through the middle, just like that, for a bit of culture. So just to clean the shape real quick, I'm using a different flat brush and a Too Faced makeup remover. Oh my goodness, now I can't touch my face. <laughs> Whoops! Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I think I'm just gonna touch up like real small areas. Okay, let me just quickly. I'm gonna do a little bit of shimmer. This is the iconic London, the glow. 
We've got 10 seconds. Oh my god. Oh, the hairline. Ah. Okay, <laughs> hands on head. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys over to my studio space. There it is. Basically just outside my room, and we've got a giant window. So we're moving our, to our photo shoot place. So I use a stack of books to take pictures and I think I'll put on a timer. I love them, I'm super excited to show you guys. Look at that face. Look at that eyeshadow, it looks so good on camera. Okay, I feel like we nailed that. Hi. 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 What time is it where you guys are now? Since I'm in Florida, it's about 8.30 a.m. right now. I'm in Sydney, Australia, so it's 10.50 p.m. at night at the moment. I'm in London and it's like 1.50, um, what is it? PM. All right, I'm ready to see the looks. Let's check it out. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my God, how cool. Wow. We all had such different concepts. Yeah, I love it. Is that a headpiece on you, Kaylin? Yeah, it's actually a vintage mirror that I tore apart and stuck on my head. Whoa, That's amazing. Shit. Whoa. It looks so good. So mine, of course, was trying to incorporate uh, a lot of the colors of the sunset. So I really wanted to just give a nice blend of all those colors. Of course, uh, I wanted to do a little bit of gold as well, because to me, when I think of sunsets, I just think of like the golden hour that we all love to take pictures at. It's so beautiful. The blend is so perfect. I love how it comes down to the cheek. I think what's so good about this, Kaylin, is that it's equally ethereal and powerful. Like you've managed to like capture like a very angelic-esque vibe to it but also like making it really really punchy and powerful so that's what I really like about it. The eye has to travel you know you notice the sun part first and then you you travel to the eyes and then you travel down you see that accent on the on the on the hand and it's just like such an exciting sort of journey. Thank you so much <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. So for this look I did want to do something that was very like authentic to my style and something that I've been doing lately is a nice floating eyeliner that sort of matches a nice strong bold wing um, but I think the the first thing that I saw when I looked at that sunset it really reminded me of aspects of my culture. Loving the blue with the gradient line on, on top it's just such a beautiful combo and it looks very expensive if you know what I mean and this is really really good I love it so much and I would wear it actually. And then also knowing that it's like more of a cultural thing for you the shape of the eye is just awesome i love that thank you so much when i saw the inspiration picture first i was like oh my god i have so many ideas i have like 1001 ideas what i want to do i was inspired by this you know camouflage kind of pattern and then glitter is the actual shine that you can see in the reflection i would say on the water but i mean it ended up looking a bit like clouds <laughs> they were supposed to be random shapes that are not really symmetrical and stuff like that. I love your interpretation of the brief, Lynn. Like, it's so unique. It's really, really cool. And I do love how it's just like an abstract form of a sunset. Like you can see it travel down your face. But also, like, the, the brow is speaking to me. Like, I love it so much. <laughs> I love all the sparkles that you did, Lynn. Was that a little hard to get off or did it actually go okay? Yeah, it was a bit like, it was a bit of a struggle to get off, but still with the, with the cellar tape, <laughs> it was okay, I succeeded, but yeah, it was, it's quite a lot of them on, on my face, but worth it. It was really interesting to try this, this format. I, uh, for me, yeah. I, never, I never kind of do anything connected to YouTube, so I was just like, oh my god, this is exciting, so. This was really, really fun and so, like, unique. We never would have gotten the opportunity <laughs> otherwise, so I think it's really, really cool. Thank you. Bye! Bye, guys! Bye. See you later. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs>